All right, this is a sample vid <coughs> excuse me. A sample video for projectile motion one, finding the initial velocity or height. So we have two scenarios. Number scenario one, velocity initial is known. Height equals question mark. I'll show you how to do that. Or the opposite. Height is known. What was your launch velocity? All right, so let's imagine we know we have a cannon firing straight up in the air, bang. And we know this upward velocity, initial, which we also just write as V at time zero, equals 10 meters per second. How high will it go? And this is height, y equals. We also know upward acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We also know velocity in the y final at the very top. We also just write this v equals 0 meters per second. So for a split second at the very top, the upward velocity at the max height equals zero. Formula that we use that has all of this is velocity squared equals velocity times zero plus two times a times your height. Zero equals 10 squared plus two times negative 9.8 times our height, 0 equals 100 plus negative 19.6 times height, negative 100 equals negative 19.6 times height, and then we divide, and there's your answer, 5.1 equals height. Now the challenge was, how did I know this is the right formula to use? It was based on my list. So you kind of have to look, well, I need to find height. I only have one other formula. Y equals Y initial plus velocity initial times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. I don't know time. I can't use this formula to find Y. So I had to use the other one. That's kind of how this all this stuff is going to roll. What if it's the opposite? What if we know the height equals 13 meters and I want to know what was the initial velocity. I also know that acceleration equals negative 9.8. I know velocity at the top equals 0. What formula has all three of those? That one. Zero equals, I don't know, plus two, negative 9.8 times our height is 13. I'm going to do some algebra. Velocity initial squared equals negative 19.6 times 13. Hold on. This equals velocity initial squared equals 254. Last step, don't forget it, square root both sides. Velocity initial equals root 254. 15.9 meters per second. All right, so those are the steps. Um, 
to solve these. Uh, tune in for the next video for Projectile Motion 2.